Guys, they said EB storms the palace and she was disappointed the big time. You know, there was a time that people keep telling Kabiesi, if you want to do anything about Queen Naomi and Tadenikawo, keep it secret. You know, because the moment you say something about it or you boast to the Oloris about it, they are going to work hard. They know Babalawos everywhere. They know Kayamata masters, people that will do the unthinkable. And a lot of people don't believe that things like this do happen. My dear, this is Africa. It they happen. <laughs> so, I believe that the reason KBSC was able to achieve this one goal right now is because they kept it secret. And that was why you hear whenever they uh, they put a fix a date that Penomi is returning. Before you know it, they will mess it up. She will not return. Because these women will work so hard. They will go to Jabode. They will travel to different places. They can even travel to China for the same reasons. Just to ensure that Penomi did not return. They will go anywhere that they are going to make sure that they get what they want, just to ensure that she did not return. But you see this particular one, it is as in, it is like a shock to them, especially Igbe. They say when she came to the palace and hear that Penomi have moved some of her stuff in, that by Sunday she will be moving everything in completely, they say she was disappointed. She was disappointed. She did not see it coming. And they said what she did was to start cursing doc, uh, Dr. Elizabeth. It is never going to be better for you. You are this person. You are a backstabber. You are a betrayer. There is nothing that she did not call Dr. Elizabeth. Because Dr. Elizabeth did not let them know. Dr. Elizabeth did not even say a word about it. You see, uh, Queen Naomi, uh, Dr. Elizabeth, and Kabye say they are the best team. As in their team is... Uh, everything I'm telling you, because if just if it is just the three of them, this kind of news that we are hearing from the palace of Oni of Ife, we will not be hearing it. You see those lovely news that we used to share when it was just Kwenomi and uh, Oni of Ife. That's the kind of news that we'll be hearing from that palace. But ever since these women enter, whoop, everything spoil. Everything spoil. They said she couldn't believe her eyes. She couldn't believe her ears when she came to the palace and noticed that. That royal manor, that place, eh, is, it's like Queen Omi is a king, how will I put it, the highest queen. Of course, whether it is said or not, she is the highest queen among all of them. That place that was given to her is meant for, as in... Big, big kings from different countries, not even from Nigeria here, you know, that was given to her on a platter, as in, she didn't, she, she didn't struggle for it. She did not go to Jabode to go and get one or two. She did not go to this um, uh, Benue Republic to get one or two stuff. In order to make KBSC give her that. As a matter of fact, she did not know about it. KBSC and Dr. Elizabeth was working on the ground to get that place where she will stay. And as God may have it, they won. They won. I am sure these people will cry. They will shed tears. They will say, had I know, it is good to keep everything you want to do secret until it's mature. See, I'm learning a whole lot here, seriously. Whenever you want to do things, keep it secret because you don't know who is happy. You don't know who is not happy. And it is obvious that had it been that these Oloris have a slightest tip of this information, they would have go and pay all the elders that will say yes. They will all say no. Because you know that money, money get power. Forget. If Kabiasi decide to give them uh, $1,000, the Oloris might decide to give them $3,000. Because KBS is a businessman who knows the importance of his money. But these other honoraries, they will use they will spend that money as long as they get what they want, which is to stop Kwenami from returning. And you do know that that decision, KBS did not take the decision of releasing that place for Kwenami uh, to be. Anyway, I don't know, for those of you who, who must have not watched the video, they said a royal manor. This royal manor is like a royal duplex for kings and queens from other countries who visited uh, Ilefe Kingdom. 
as in when they visit, they will have to stay there. Some of them might pass days, weeks in that place. That place is filled with everything that royalty needs. They have servants, they have maids, they have everything. And that, that place has been kept for their visitors, for their royal visitors. But Kabiyasi told the elders that, look, I want my wife to be closer to me. And you know that it is accommodation issue right now because the old ladies have messed up to where she's supposed to come in and stay. But and if you check it for close to two to three years now, we have not had we have not have such a a big uh, uh, queens and vis and uh, kings visit. That it will be good if they release that place for Queen Naomi to stay for the meantime until they are able to fix where she will stay. You know that that place does not belong to KBSC alone. Before KBSC will make certain decision, he will have to uh, call the attention of the elders. They will discuss about it, even though we do know that some people will say, no, what if we decide, what if there is someone to do and all of that? But they should know that KBSC is capable. In that Ojaja more, I believe that KBSC have presidential suit today. So if emergency comes, he will know how to handle it. KBSC came prepared. <laughs> He is a very big, rich king. He came prepared that anything that comes out of it, he is ready. I'm sure he was able to convince them, letting them know that he is not called Kabiesi for nothing. <laughs> My people, that was how they said they were able to release that place for Queen Naomi. And uh, this uh, Tolu, Tolu is the Oyotunji princess that returned from U.S. to Ilefe with Queen Naomi and Dr. Elizabeth. So at the moment, it is Tolu and Queen Naomi that is staying in that royal manor. It's not a small thing. They said the old is are running Helter Skelter. That when Igbi came, they said she almost slumped. She, she, she was running on the floor, calling Dr. Elizabeth ungrateful. Someone that cannot appreciate ordinary arrangement that they made to bring her into the palace. Someone that, hey, they said she, there is nothing she did not call Dr. Elizabeth. And Dr. Elizabeth was just laughing at her. Telling her, oh, you think? Yo, would you, would you not show you this one? <laughs> she even they monitor everything for their mirror. They, they, would you, would you not show them this one? Eh? Because I'm sure if their witchy witchy was that uh, 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 powerful as they always claim, it would have shown them that see what KBSA is, pre is preparing to do. Mm -hmm. So they were shocked to hear that when Nomi is moving into the palace by Sunday. As a matter of fact, she don't move. Nobody says she's moving. <laughs> My people, what that she never had, though. That is how they say she was eating herself. You know, cursing Dr. Elizabeth that does not do anything to her. Anyway, guys, when I hear this, I was just laughing. I said, this is just the beginning. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share this video. Bye. I love you guys.